Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my top favorite foundations for the winter months. You know, those cold months that end up drying out your skin just a little bit. If you're like me, you can't wear the same foundations that you wore in the summertime during the winter time because they just don't look the same on your skin. Our skin changes. So, in no particular order except for the very last one is going to be my all-time favorite, like all-time favorite for the winter. It's kind of my all-time favorite in general, but anyway, I'm going to share with you guys the foundations that I like on my skin during these cold months. Also, if you're interested in my winter skincare routine, I will link that down below as well. So let's start off with, again, in no particular order, the first foundation. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now this sounds like it's going to be a dewy dream, but it's not that luminous. It's kind of like a satin... I would call it a satin kind of finish, and I can wear this during the summer as well, but I do like it better during the winter months. It's a medium coverage foundation. It's very light on my skin, so it doesn't feel heavy, because sometimes when my skin gets a little bit more dry, I am combo, by the way, so I get a little oily in the T-zone and drier on the other parts of my face. So especially around my mouth, like if I feel drier, I don't want something heavy on my skin, but I want it to look good. And this foundation really does that like it feels weightless it makes my skin look effortlessly beautiful like it's not overly done so this is a good makeup where you want to I, I love this for brides where you want to look like naturally pretty this is a great one and the shade that I wear in this is number four the second one I want to talk about is from La Mer I just had to repurchase this Oh, I love this foundation so much, but I do like it more during the winter months than I do the summer months. And this is kind of a velvety kind of texture foundation, so you would think that I would like it more during the summer, but it wears longer and looks better on my skin for whatever reason during the winter. This has the Miracle Broth that La Mer is known for, and it's a medium to full coverage. And that this literally makes your skin look like velvet, like perfected velvet, not dry. I don't know how they did it. And this is one of those foundations that also I can't find a dupe for. People have said, oh, this or this. And I've tried everything that's been recommended. And I have never been able to found, find anything that really compares to the texture and longevity or anything with this foundation. I will say, if you don't want to splurge on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, that the, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, that one is pretty comparable to the Luminous Silk. I definitely still prefer the Luminous Silk, but if you don't want to splurge on that, try the True Match Lumi. But back to the La Mer foundation. So this is like my glamorous foundation. I always get asked what's on my face when I'm wearing this because it's just something different. It looks like perfected, like you're a porcelain doll. You know like that finish that a porcelain doll can have? Like it's almost like like suede, I don't know, I don't know, but it does not dry out your skin. It has that miracle broth in there that keeps your skin nice and hydrated and supple. I just love this so much. The shade that I wear is the shade Linen. I kind of just get away with this during the summer and the winter, but I drag it down my neck. Truly, I need to switch either probably to, to the 12, I think is natural. It's a little bit more pink though. Um, I can wear 12. That one probably matches just a little bit better for the winter, but I have linen. Next up is a new one, and this is what I have on my face right now. And typically I would not throw a new foundation into a video like this, but I have been wearing this nonstop and it is cold. It's been snowing and I am just loving this foundation so far. Like I've I did a review on this a little while ago and I've been wearing it every day. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. The shade I wear is number 2N1 Cashew. This is stunning. Like I have it on right now. I It is more of a satin finish, so whatever I powder it does look more matte, but it does not 
feel matte. And this is a medium to full coverage. I like to put one layer on with my sponge so that it's even a little bit more dewy. But I don't even feel like I have to spray my face or anything with like a Fix Plus or Tatchis Luminous Dewy Skin Mist or anything like that because this just feels so nice on the skin. And this has skincare ingredients in it as well. I know I'm going to continue to use this because, like I said, I've been using it. It's not causing me to break out. I love the way it looks on my skin. It's kind of in between the Luminous Silk and the La Mer. So La Mer, to me, is like beautiful glam. The Luminous Silk is like on the more natural. And this is like right in between. It's like you definitely put in some work but you didn't overdo it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, but this foundation is stunning. If you haven't tried this yet, I'm still loving it, and I just, it's beautiful. The dewiest out of all the foundations that I'm going to mention today is the Vibrancy Foundation from Josie Moran. This has argon oil in it. It's very comforting, so anytime that I feel like my skin just really needs something more on it, this is a great one to choose because it feels so comforting on the skin. I used to wear this pretty much year round, but I find now that I like it more during the winter months. I think it lasts longer on my skin. And again, it's just really nice and comforting. If you have breakouts and you want to wear a foundation that's going to help with that, Argon Oil actually helps with breakouts. I didn't know that until like I was breaking out. I want to say when I first started using this foundation and my breakouts were clearing up and somebody told me about that and I did the research. I was like, yes, that's amazing. So if you're looking for a foundation and you are prone to acne but you want something that's a little bit more luminous it's definitely this is a good choice for you the next one is a new favorite for me because the first time I tried this I didn't like it so you guys are already know what I'm talking about but this one's been around for a little while it's the makeup forever ultra HD I tried this during the summer months and all of a sudden liked it again, but it doesn't wear as long as it does during the winter for me. So I've been wearing this during the winter, or it's not even winter yet, but it's, again, it's snowing. So it, it's basically winter. <laughs> and I find that I like it even more. Again, I'm still going to be wearing this during the summer, but I like this during the winter because it lasts longer, especially on my pore area. I just think this is another one of those foundations that just look like skin. It's not heavy, but this isn't going to, if you are dry, this isn't going to really give you anything to help with the dryness. So you're going to have to prep your skin for this one. So if you're not combo, I don't know that I would suggest this. Like oily skin, sure, but I don't know that I would suggest this one if you are dry all over. You're probably not going to like this, but for me and my combo skin, I still really like this. And this is one of those, again, it's a makeup, but not too much makeup kind of look. Now for the last and my absolute favorite, are you prepared? It's the La Prairie Skin Caviar. This has the concealer at the top and the foundation at the bottom. I wear the shade Warm Linen. Yes, Warm Linen. This is another one I just had to rebuy. This one, again, works for me year round, but the best during the winter. Oh my gosh. My skin does not look better in any foundation than this one. That <laughs> I hate to use this every day though because of the price tag. That's one of the reasons why I'm like, unless I'm going somewhere special, I don't even want to put this on because it's too much to keep repeating purchasing. That's why it's so nice to have something like the Laura Mercier that's a little bit more friendly to my wallet than this one is. But nothing looks better and makes my skin look like skin but flawless hydrated, not too like oily. I don't look greasy. I don't know what it is. This is like a foundation you put on and you don't have to alter the picture you took because your skin looks that good. I cannot describe it, but something about this foundation is utter perfection. Otherwise, I wouldn't purchase it because I don't even use the concealer at the top, but this has skincare ingredients in there. If you are dry, you're going to love this. If you're combo, you're going to like it. I'm not 
sure about oily. I don't think it's going to last on you. If you're unsure about the price tag on this, I feel you completely. I absolutely feel you. Go get a sample from Nordstrom or wherever you have that carries this foundation. They're more than happy to let you try it. The first time I put it on, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't get it. But then like the second time it was like, and then the third, and then you wear it more and more and more. And you're like, oh my God, I'm in love. I'm going to be broke for the rest of my life. But this is my number one foundation in general and definitely my number one foundation for the winter months. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below and for everybody else, what is your skin type and what is your favorite wintertime foundation? I think that kind of helps everybody. So I'm Combo. Those are my favorites. Let me know what yours are and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.